Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to do a real quick, not very in-depth review of what I've got going on right here with this mount. Um, got two emails on it. No comments on the videos, but I got two emails on it. This is sitting on my SIG Cross Rifle in 308. But this is a UTG AccuSync high mount for 30 millimeter scopes. Um, no other particular reason that I bought this Really, other than I like to find a discount when I can, and if something works, it works. It doesn't matter what name is on it. And I saw some good reviews from these about two or three years ago, you know, videos on YouTube. And I said, you know what? $39 on Amazon. I can't really go wrong. So if I don't like it, I could just get rid of it. Not a big deal because I had some other rings, you know, sitting on, on the sidelines. And, and yes, my scope just moved. It's, it's loose right now. So... Um, had some other scope rings in, in reserve just in case, but I wanted to give this bad boy a shot. It looks good. The finish is probably a 6 out of 10. It's not bad. I haven't scratched it yet. It's smooth. All the edges are finished correctly. All the sharp edges on the uh, top of this thing are smoothed off or rounded off, whatever you want to call it. This is the sharpest edge that's on here. It's not bad, though. Um, these four bolts that are on top of each one of these are Torx bits T20 just the same as this here and so all of these are T20 mounts and they work pretty well so one of the reasons I bought this I was looking at the pictures of them online and I, I wanted something that I could mount repeatedly and if I took it off and put it back on that it would maintain zero within a reasonable amount and I'm talking like less than a half of a minute or half MOA. And I believe this is going to do it. I will confirm that this week. I've already taken this off once to, to re-verify a few things, but I mounted it back and I forgot to film stuff, so here we are again. This is one of the real reasons I wanted to, to keep this. And it's because I like purchase. Not buying things, but purchase as in mounting solutions and things like that. You see this crossbar here? Here. In here, that's for the bolts, of course, here, here, and here. But then if you look up under here, there's another one here and another one here. And so there's five total mounting pieces there. And I'll put it back on just to show you how sturdy this thing is. All right, so obviously I can go side to side because it is loose, but I want you to notice I'm going front to back. You can hear it, but this is all that it's moving. So that is extremely repeatable in terms of am I getting the same mount? If Is it moving very much? And when I mount it and tighten it back down, it will be pushed forward. Not like you could really tell the difference. I mean, it's, it's literally moving less than a millimeter. And so I would push it forward. I would grab my trusty T20. I would put very light pressure on this middle, <laughs> if I can get it right here, this middle mount piece here, just so it doesn't move. You don't want to go real tight because you don't want to bend anything. There. Now it's not going to move. And then you could proceed by tightening the rest of these in the same fashion. And I won't bore you with that. But that's why I went with the UTG mount. Um, I just wanted to throw that out there. I'll show you what I've got going on with this since I got a couple of questions about it. Um, I think I got it for $39 on Amazon. Pretty sure. Um, having, do it, having to... If, if I had to do it again, I guess is really the way to say it, is... What would be, I would probably get another one of these, and I'm thinking about getting another one. And to either spice this one up or spice up my Grendel, I might get a different color. They've got red, blue, tan, you know, things like that. So we can spice it up just a little bit. But again, I really like this thing so far. It has not failed me, it hasn't done anything except what it's supposed to do. And with that, I will leave you guys for a future, I guess, follow up. Um, next time I go to the range, I will be shooting it again to make sure that zero stayed and I will document the shift in zero so I can let you guys know. But if you have any questions or anything about this particular model, let me know. If you've got one, let me know how it works for you. And if I get one for my Grindle, which I probably will because these are super easy to mount, I will either get it in red or blue because I'm kind of bored of all black. But with that, stay tactical.